setting up an iOS project and stuck on installing Cocoa Pops. Don't worry, in this quick guide, I will show you exactly how to install Cocoa Pops step by step. Hey everyone, I am Subhi from App Techies and today we are making Cocoa Pops setup simple so you can get back to building your app. First things first, make sure you have Homebrew installed. It is a dependency manager for Swift and Objective-C projects in iOS and macOS development. It helps developers easily integrate and manage third-party libraries in the Xcode projects. So now let's see what are the main functioning of the Cocoa port. It manages the third-party libraries and frameworks. It automatically downloads and integrates libraries into your Xcode project and it maintains version controls for dependencies through a port file. So now let's see how to install Cocoa Pods in a new Xcode project. If Cocoa Pods are not already installed, you need to write the command as sudo gem install Cocoa Pod. By entering this command, your Cocoa Pods will be installed in your Mac. But here my Cocoa Pods are already installed in the Mac. So now we will create an Xcode project. As we have given the name port sample, we will create a project. So here our project is created. We need to make sure that our project is closed before proceeding to the next steps. So we will navigate to our project directory. In the terminal, we will copy paste our project path as cd space and we will drag and drop our project here. Now enter. Now we will initialize the cocoa ports by writing the command as pod in it. We will check that our port file has been installed. Now we will open the work port file and here we will write the port we want to install. We will save the port and now we will install the ports by writing the command pod install. So now our pods are installed and the installed pods have created a new workspace file. We will open the workspace file. So here our third party libraries are integrated. We can import them in a particular Swift file as required like here by using the syntax import and our pod name. So here our cocoa pods are installed and we can also add our cocoa pods from directly from the Xcode or we can also add from the terminal and in case you want to update the pod you can use the command pod update and name of the pod you want to update if you want to set specific version then we will work as by opening the pod file and write here the latest version as 5.10.2 or you can also set it by updating it from the terminal so like this we will set the or install the cocoa ports there are some few advantages of using cocoa ports as firstly is the version control you can specify exact or compatible versions of libraries reducing the risk of breaking changes also, Cocoa Ports handle framework integration, making the setup much easier for the users. 
in the cocoa pouch it provides the large community support like thousands of popular ios libraries are available and the last is uh, cocoa pouch are easy to update and updating libraries is as simple as running the pouch update and that's it super simple right now you can install pouch in your ios projects and manage your dependencies easily if this video helped you out give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe for more ios development tips got questions drop them in the comments i'll i'm here to help you out thank you